This mod changes the appearance of the Odavying Dragon that appears during the Skyrim main quest. However, after installing the mod, if you insert the Nifhog Odavying Replacers Mesh file Nihognormal.nif file into the following path and change the file name to Dragon, you can also apply the appearance of a normal dragon in Skyrim. Odabing actually appears during the main quest, so if you apply this mod to a normal dragon's appearance like this, you'll encounter the dragon with the replacer applied much more often. If you use the Got Dragon replacer together with the Nithog Odavian replacer introduced earlier, the appearance of the rest of the dragons except for the normal dragon will change as shown on the screen. The Got Dragon replacer mod changes the appearance of Elder, Frost, and Blood Dragons as shown on the screen. It also changes the appearance of Ali Dragons such as Dernavir, Odavian, and Partharnax. Therefore, in the case of Odavian, the replacer arranged below will be applied according to the arrangement with the Nithog Odavian replacer introduced earlier. The Got Dragon replacer mod is designed to be applied not only to vanilla dragons, but also to dragon mods such as Diverse Dragons, so it can be used with the Diverse Dragons collection mod. In the end, the point I'm talking about is that you can change the appearance of every dragon in Skyrim using two replacer mods. Experience a new dragon by replacing all the appearances of vanilla dragons. Enjoy the dragon you've been imagining in Skyrim. This replacer mod changes Alduin's appearance to a much higher quality. The shining texture between Alduin's carapaces is excellently expressed. This replacer can be installed in FOMOD format and you can install Alduin's texture color of your choice. This is a replacer. Therefore, it only changes the appearance of Alduin and does not change its stats. So you are safe from the risk of mod conflicts or bugs. This mod overhauls dragon combat and adds over 20 new animations and moves. And more new melee combat, new shout, falls down, and rages and locational damage. Adds new animations of the dragon attacks for the first time in the world. It is also a feature of this mod. Visual effects and attacks are depend on the type of dragon. Through the MCM menu, you can set the dragon's flying probability, health and damage ratio. So you can individually set the dragon's difficulty, and the stability is quite good, so you can set the vanilla's weak dragon to be somewhat strong. In addition, various attacks, breath animations, and stagger animations are added to add various reactions of the dragon, making the combat with the dragon more interesting. Moreover, among the mods related to various dragons, the stabilization is good, so I recommend it to you. Dragon Overhaul mod adds different attack animations to your Skyrim dragons. Generally, it adds flashy attack animations, so it is recommended to set them up so that the animations of the two modes are output together by arranging them under Ultimate Dragon, which was introduced earlier. Various attack animations are added, such as a rushing attack after flying, a head down dash, and a tail spinning attack. It's still in the development stage, and we can't rule out the possibility that creators will add other elements besides animations in the future. However, considering only the animation part, the Dragon Overhaul mod belongs to the must-have mod and changes the dragon's attack pattern more diversely, so we recommend a combination of Ultimate Dragon and Dragon Overhaul mod. This concludes the Next Gen Dragon Guide video. Thank you very much for watching until the end. Subscriptions, likes and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.